Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Full Fills, and this is Find Your Stance Character in Tekken 8, Part 2. If you missed out on Part 1, make sure to go watch it before you proceed with this video. The link to the Part 1 video we posted down below in the description. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and find your stance character in Tekken 8. Azu Sena, known for her striker style MMA fighting style, also uses different stances to fight her opponents. Her stance grant for both unpredictability and evasive maneuvers. Leroy, known for his masterful Wing Chun style, has a bit more of a defensive playstyle, unlike most other characters. His toolset includes parries and a stance that is more effective for breaking down your opponents over time. Leo, known for their Baji Kwan's fighting style, utilizes different stances to bait opponents into making mistakes, leaving them wide open to be punished. Leo's stances are often used to make opponents flinch out of fear of what could come next. Lee, known to use both Mishima style karate and mixed martial arts, uses a stance which serves the purpose of both baiting opponents and conditioning them. Yeah. 
Jin is known to fight using karate. Gameplay wise, he is pretty much a jack of all trades, and the use of his stance backs that up perfectly. Jin's stance is very flexible and allows him the freedom to explore multiple options he wants, be it closing the distance on an opponent, baiting an incoming attack, or simply going for a mix up. Jin pretty much has it all with the stance. Feng, known for his Taiji Quan fighting style, shares a few similarities with Leo when it comes to their stances. Feng is an extremely ambiguous and evasive character, and his stances accompany that trait very well. These are best used for baiting and keeping opponents in check. Yoshimitsu, known for his advanced mansion ninjutsu, is perhaps the most quirky out of all the characters on this list. That being said, his stances allow for a multitude of benefits such as health healing, self sacrifice, teleportation, and much more. Okay, that about sums up all of the stance characters in Tekken 8 so far. Now if you're wondering why some characters were left out, that is because I have some characters categorized as hybrid characters. Of course, I will be making a list of them in another video. Now as always, thank you for watching the video and if you found this video helpful in any way, shape or form, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Now without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video.